Welcome back to the channel everyone, I'm Danny Burke and if you can see me right now then you're probably not blind. But statistically speaking about 4 to 5% of you are colorblind, meaning you can't see certain colors or shades of colors. However, some of you guys might not even know that you are in fact colorblind. Well, there are tests to find out. Let's take a look at them right now with the top 10 ways to tell if you're colorblind. Coming in at the number 10 spot now, we have the Ishihara test. In this test, you have to spot the hidden number. Now, people with certain types of colorblindness can't see the number because its shade is indistinguishable from the surrounding area. For example, what do you guys see here? Now, you should see the number six okay what about this one this should be an eight but there are harder ones on the test what about this one hmm this test is all over the internet so go and check it out for yourself and see if you have any symptoms of color blindness next up at number nine we have the d15 test in this test you're given 15 shades of colors some of them can be very close in hue you have to arrange them in order now colorblind people will find it very difficult to arrange some or all of the colors in order the results of these tests can tell them if they have a red, green, or blue color deficiency. Moving on to number eight now, we have the multiple choice color blindness test. Now this is an online color blindness test that gives you 31 images and you're then given multiple answers to choose from. The first test is a grid image like this one where you have to choose which shape is behind that grid. People with color blindness will not be able to see what the shape is because to them the shape is the same color as the background behind it. At number seven now, we're gonna stay with the same same test, but look at the second type, the color matching test. In this one, you're shown different colored squares on a five by five grid. You have to choose the answer that lists all of the colors in that image. Now this makes guessing them very hard to do, but that's exactly what you'll have to do if you are colorblind, as the shades will be too hard to distinguish. Next up at number six now, we have the city university test. In this test, you're shown a moving colored square. As the movie goes on, the square will slowly change shade into a different color. It will do this a number of different times. Now, if you're colorblind, the square will eventually disappear and then reappear later on. Where it disappeared will tell you or your doctor what type of colorblindness you have. Moving on to number five now, we have RGB anomalous scope. Now, this is a really interesting and simple red-green colorblindness test. All you have to do is use the slider to make the color in the left box match the color in the right box. People with colorblindness will often say that colors match when they don't, or they may select that no match is possible when it actually is. This test was developed over 120 years ago and is regarded as the most accurate, simple color blindness test used by eye specialists. Next up at number four now, we have the reverse Ishihara test. That's the one we mentioned at number 10. Now take a look at this image. What do you guys see? Can you see a number? I bet some of you guys are now panicking, trying desperately to see something, but as you might have guessed from the name, this is the reverse Ishihara test. If you have normal color vision, you should not see any number at all. However, because of the shades of the dots, people with color blindness will see a number. I don't know what number they can see. If any of you guys can see it, let me know in the comment section. At number three now, we have increasing lightness. Take a look at this image. I'm pretty sure all of you guys will be able to see that this image is getting increasingly lighter from jet black on the left to white on the right. This next image is made up of red, green, and black. Now those of you without color blindness will see that although they are different colors, they still increase in lightness from left to right. The same goes with this next image. However, people with certain types of color blindness will not see that so easily. To them, there may be no clear order at all. All right, moving on to number two now, we have the autumn trees. For many of you guys without color blindness, you will clearly clearly see two different images here side by side. On the right is a very vibrant forest with many shades of green, red, yellow, and orange leaves. On the left, the leaves will look mostly the same color, to be honest. Well, for colorblind people, that's how both images actually look. What do you guys see? How many shades of colors are there? And finally, at number one, we have the dress. You guys know which dress I'm talking about, I think. What color? is this dress. Some of you guys will say white and gold, some of you will say black and blue, or maybe something else entirely. The way you see this dress won't necessarily tell you if you're colorblind or not, but it will help you understand which bias your brain has towards certain shades and colors. In reality, the dress is actually blue and black, which still kind of blows my mind because I just see white and gold. Now, if you guys see it like me, or if anything in this video made you think twice about the colors you see in your everyday lives, then maybe 
you should check out one of the tests we've talked about. I've put all the links to everything we've talked about in the description box below if you want to take any of the tests. Now remember though, I'm just a random guy on the internet and you should always consult your doctor first to see if you are colorblind. In the meantime, I'm Danny Burke. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Let me know what colors you saw in the comment section below and I'll see you all in the next video.